Hello and welcome to our video about the universe. The universe is a vast and mysterious place, and there is so much to explore and discover. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what the universe is, how it was formed, and what we know about it. The universe is full of wonders and mysteries that continue to amaze us every day. From the smallest particles to the largest structures, there is always something new and fascinating to discover. In this video, we'll explore the most amazing facts about space and the universe. This video will be the first part of this article. I hope you enjoy it, but please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. The universe is everything that exists, including all matter, energy, and space and estimated to be around 13.8 billion years old. This means that the light we see from the most distant galaxies has been traveling for billions of years to reach us. The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted explanation for how the universe was formed. It suggests that the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, and then rapidly expanded and cooled. Scientists have been studying the universe for centuries, using a variety of tools and techniques to learn more about it. Telescopes, both on the ground and in space, have allowed us to see further and more clearly than ever before despite all that we've learned about the universe, there is still so much that we don't know. Dark matter and dark energy, for example, are two mysterious substances that make up the majority of the universe but have yet to be fully understood. Johns Hopkins University astronomers prepared a map of the universe. This is the first time that the extent of the universe has been shown with high precision and beauty. This map will help you navigate around this galaxy world. About 400 million years after the Big Bang, the universe came out of the Dark Ages. This period of progress is called reionization. This dynamic phase was thought to last about 500 million years, but according to new observations, the reionization phase ended much faster than that. During this time, gas masses collapsed and the first stars and galaxies were formed. The ultraviolet light emitted from these energetic events destroyed most of the surrounding neutral hydrogen gas. The process of reionization, along with the removal of hydrogen gases, made the universe transparent to ultraviolet light for the first time. The largest known structure in the universe is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, which is a massive cluster of galaxies that spans more than 10 billion light years. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, making up approximately 75% of its mass. Helium is the second most abundant element, making up around 25% of the universe's mass. Oxygen is the third most abundant element, but it is still relatively rare in comparison to hydrogen and helium making up only about 0.1% of the universe's mass. Other elements, such as carbon, nitrogen, and iron, are also present in the universe, but in much smaller quantities. The universe is made up of billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is estimated to contain around 100 billion stars. The temperature in the universe varies greatly depending on where you are. In the coldest known place in the universe, the Boomerang Nebula, the temperature is minus 458 degrees Fahrenheit. In contrast, the hottest known place in the universe, the core of a quasar, can reach temperatures of trillions of degrees. UY Scuti is currently considered the largest known star in the universe. It is a red supergiant star located in the constellation Scutum, around 9,500 light years away from Earth. UY Scuti has a radius estimated to be around 1,700 times that of the Sun, making it one of the largest known stars in the universe. However, it is important to note that the size of stars can be difficult to measure accurately, and there may be other stars that are larger than UY Scuti but have not yet been discovered. This photo shows the difference in the size of our Sun compared to the largest star discovered. But the turn of black holes comes. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you fell into a black hole? If you were to fall into a black hole, you would experience a process known as spaghettification. This is because the intense gravitational forces of the black hole would stretch you out into a long, thin shape resembling spaghetti. As you get closer to the black hole, 
the gravitational forces would become stronger and stronger. This would cause your body to stretch out in the direction of the black hole, with your head and feet being pulled apart from each other. Eventually, the gravitational forces would become so strong that they would overcome the electromagnetic forces that hold your body together, causing you to be torn apart completely into a stream of subatomic particles. These particles would then be pulled into the black hole and become part of its singularity, which is a region of space where the gravitational forces become infinitely strong and the laws of physics as we know them break down. There are some theories that if we enter a black hole, if we survive, there is a high probability that we will enter a new world. Also, this theory shows that inside the black hole we will experience a new dimension and time and place will be different for us. When it comes to time, many questions arise for us, how is time in the universe? According to Einstein's theory, time is a pure illusion and there is nothing like time at all. In 1971, to test Einstein's theory, they placed two atomic clocks, one stationary in an airport and one in a flying passenger plane. And to their surprise, after the plane returned, they found a difference of a few millionths of a second, exactly what Einstein had said. According to Einstein's theory, like motion, gravity can affect time and slow down its passage. In fact, the more gravity increases, the slower time will be. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the first part of this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment so that we can discuss in the second part of this video.